So you want to play limbo, so you're looking at a video of how low you can go. Get low, go, low, go, get how low you can. All right. Hey, guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back. Once again, taking a look at uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a processy type video. Hopefully, you guys can pick up some like tips and stuff from it. I wanted to show you guys how I how I do a couple of my pixel art logos or something like that. Just something really simple uh, t today. Uh, but yeah, so I want to get started real quick. I usually start off with just a little bit of a base. So I like doing uh, starting off with white, and I always put a little bit of blue in my white because it looks a little bit better that way to me. Um, first things first, I actually want to go ahead and hit Tab to open up our timeline and just add a layer, new layer. Right click that. And then this bottom layer, I'm going to move this one down by just clicking that yellow line once I click it. And I'm just going to make this like a darker color and hit G to bucket fill, which is over here, by the way. But yeah, I just want to get that out of the way. So um, so yeah, all right. So I wanted a color behind that. That's why I did that. So we'll just grab a little bit of a white color. And I kind of want to just, the only thing I'm thinking about right now is kind of trying to get down a base. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to do just the word text, I guess, because that looks best for like thumbnails and whatnot. So I'm going to skip two spaces away from all this. I want to, I want a two border on all this. Um, this is not going to work. So I'm going to have to pull this down, which is fine. Uh, uh, and like this. Yeah. And I think what I want to do is I kind of want to have like maybe a little bit of a, a, a ruin vibe, like a, like it's kind of not perfect looking. Um, that's kind of weird. Uh, maybe like a little fork. It looks like a fork boy. There you go. There you go. It looks like a fork. That's awesome. All right, cool. We'll do that, and then I'll just do like an X that looks like this, maybe. And I, you know, like I said, the only thing I'm thinking about right now is just trying to get down the basic shapes, um, and then I'll just go back and I'll refine them later on. It looks like I'm tr kind of doing a lot right now, but I feel like this is quite minimal compared comparative to what I'm gonna be doing uh, with a little bit of the detail. Now I don't know how detail I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this in today's video because I don't want to like go overboard and take like because we only have 10 minutes, but I do want to make sure I get down some of the things I like doing. Now, I'm kind of tapering these edges because I like the way that it looks. It looks less harsh than this. It kind of looks like Spider-Man logo, which is cool. Um, but yeah, man, I love Spider-Man. But anyway, we're just going to we're gonna move on. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Um, and I want to just duplicate this M. So I'm going to just, uh, the M, this T, by hitting M on my keyboard or hitting this little marquee rectangle button up here. And just hit Control C and Control V to paste that. And I kind of want to put it up here. Do something like this, and then we'll kind of just pull the T over like this, right? And then, ooh, wait a second now. I'll put it, I'll pull it down through here, but I'm going to have to move the T over, the, the X over a little bit more. So we'll do like this, move all that over, and then I'll just fill that gap in. All right, so this is going to be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, sweet. So I'm going to round that off like that. I'm going to make this not – I'm going to do that instead. And, yeah, yeah, we'll go with this style instead because I like that. For this, anyway, in particular. No, I don't like that at all. Never mind. <laughs> this is an artist. I swear, man. Uh, anyway, I'm going to pull this out a little bit because I want to do that. And then I will get rid of that. I, I, I think I want to do the hard edges for these. Yeah, we'll do the hard edges for this instead. I changed my mind. Um, and this, too. We'll do sharp edges for this uh, logo design here. And I kind of want to pull this down because I don't really like this being that tall. So we'll pull it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I like, I, I'm liking this a lot so far. I think what I want to do is I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to, like I said, I'm trying to put in basic shapes, but the other thing I'm trying to keep in mind is I want, I like keeping things when I do my logos. I like keeping things very tight and very neat. So what I mean by that is I don't want to, I don't want a lot of dead space. So for instance, like this T is causing, this, this T is causing problems. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing that, I want to just pull this T over and then I'm going to have this T go uh, all the way across the other one like that. So now, I, I like using as much of the space that I have here as possible. I like, I like keeping things compact and nice and neat and tidy. So you can see we have a two pixel border around everything except for this. That's going to bug me. So, hmm, I, I'm just going to pull all this down by one and then we'll have a two border around that too. All right, so there's a two uh, pixel border around the X and the T, the T and the E, and then, you know, everything else around here too. So we'll just do that. I like this a lot because, like I said, it keeps the balance, I believe. So it looks nice and even and symmetrical. And I think I want to, this, not everything always works, but I want to kind of pull a thing down maybe like this and have it wrap all the way around. See, sometimes things get lost, and it's difficult to see what the the text means, especially if you use the same color. So 
I don't know if this will be able to stay, but we'll just have to see for now. I don't know what this logo is for, but let's just pretend it's for something that makes sense with this type of design. So we're going to actually see if I can get away with doing that. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, not that. All right. Okay. I like this. This is sweet. This is sweetums. Like that. And then this T can come out. Yeah. All right, cool. Now it's, it's looking more even now. All right, cool. So... What do I want to do with this? See, this is always a difficult thing is trying to see what I really want to do uh, with things, especially going into something without having an idea. You, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're, we're going to do some shading, but I won't do it like that. So I'm just going to cut off some areas here, kind of shade them um, downwards a little bit. So I'm going to kind of make this X look like it's been shaded, like there's light coming from this, like this diagonally there's light coming from this way. So all of this would be in shadow, like that, maybe further down. Um, kind of try and connect these maybe even, so maybe all of that. Kind of cheated a little bit, something like that, perhaps. That's too tall. All right, um, and then this E, I kind of want to do something like this. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Uh, maybe like that. Okay, I can get with that, sure. Um, and then for these, I kind of want to just maybe cross the edges there, just just to break it up a little bit, get a little bit more depth in there. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, just some simple basic shading, and I kind of want to take this a step further, just drag that to the right a little bit and down, uh, and kind of just uh, double shade some of these, not all of them, but just some of them, um, like that piece maybe, that piece, that. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's pretty cool to me. Um, and I kind of want to go for a highlight color. So I'll grab this whiter color and I'll just push it almost all the way up to the white. Um, and then I'll just, maybe all the way up to white. Yeah. And then I'll just highlight some of this stuff here, uh, like this and this, uh, a little bit of this and that. Kind of taper. I like doing this effect where, like, if I'm drawing a line and I want the line just to stop, I'll kind of, like, kind of maybe break it up a little bit, do something like this. You know, and then kind of have it fade away like that. So that's kind of what the texture that I'm going for right here uh, on this highlight portion. So I'm going to kind of try and see if I can do some cool stuff. I really like the way that looks. I don't know why. I just do. And it, it seems to break things up quite nicely. So the further you get away, the more you want to break things up. So I'll kind of do some, something like that. I think that I think that looks good. I like this. Maybe I, I, I don't think I want, I want I don't think I want it to be blue, though. I know that much. So we'll go up to f edit and filter and we'll just kind of hue shift this a little bit, maybe. Maybe a different shade of blue. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. All right, so I'm going to hide the background because I don't need that anymore. Um, and with this uh, text still selected here, I'm going to go ahead and go up to Edit and then FX and go to Outline because I don't want to do it by hand. And what this is going to do is going to help me create an outline um, without having to draw it, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to, I drop that darker color here and I'm going to actually change that because it's kind of it's darker than I want it to be so we'll, hi we'll just brighten it a little bit desaturate it a little bit and now we got a nice little outline color I want to do full outlines yeah we'll do full outlines by hitting this little square button instead of the rounded so I'll do full outlines um, and then I hit OK on that now I'm going to go to back to edit and then FX outline and then instead of uh, instead of using the whole thing I only want this to be on the bottom so I'm gonna deselect all of these except for the bottom most one and then we will go ahead and just eye drop and drag from that to, this, to the same color that we used before now you can see that we have a heavier weight on the bottom so it looks like there's like a, a shadow coming down I guess so it's, it's a little heavier and I can even do something like this to be honest with you so we have like a thicker everything does that make sense like I don't know I don't know which one I like for this. I think I like that the best for this, to be honest with you. So we'll just do something like that. And then I'll just want to, I want to fill in this little pixel in the center because it's bugging me. So I'm going to fill that in, fill that little piece. You can, you can do some cheaty stuff like that. So you can just fill in some areas you don't really like that much. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you in the next one. There we go. So I'll see you in the next one. But uh, until then, bye-bye.